up guys, Eric, I'm in the studio. I'm just uh, gonna do a quick little uh, studio uh, video here. And then I've got like a, like a montage of some uh, Typhon action, uh, just, you know, regular Typhon, uh, Truggified, uh, Mojaveified, uh, you know, cause we've had a lot of rain and we've got rain all week and I'm just not able to really get out and bash. So I'm just gonna, you know, wanna do some kind of video for you guys. And I've had some, you know, a lot of people ask me on more details about the Mojaveified or the, or the Truggified Typhon with the Mojave arms and drive shafts and stuff. So I thought I'd go into a little bit more detail with it. Um, uh, I've got the uh, buggy tires on it right now. The last video I did, I was running the uh, 2.8 trenchers and they were uh, untaped, um, which, you know, they were ballooning, but it wasn't, it wasn't too bad being that I've got 500,000 in the center diff, um, just the overall truck setup, you know, it, it wasn't too bad. Um, I mean, the truck was still controllable and had very, you know, very good air control um, and uh, pretty stable. Real quick over here on, uh, this is Purple Power. Um, she's gonna get uh, kind of a refreshment. Um, I do have a new body because uh, on the last video I did it that little uh, BMX track I, you know the body kept kept pop, uh, popping off and stuff uh, It was uh, it was uh, definitely time for a new one So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the original metallic purple that was on here to begin with I mean a lot of you guys if you've been following my channel for a while, you know, you know the original purple um, And I've also I finally found some backflip LPs I've been wanting uh, to get these tires for a while, but they just been out of stock everywhere and in a back order and stuff so some showed up on ebay and I, I scarfed them up pretty quick i mean these are some sweet looking tires and it doesn't quite have the offset that the 3.8 baylands had so it, you know kind of narrows it down just a little bit which will actually make it make it a little bit better in my opinion um so i can't you know can't wait to get here going again so so be on the lookout for that uh but anyway on the typhons here i just want to uh this is my my v4 um again it does have it's maybe hard to see in here but i've got the m2c racing the new suspension blocks the locking suspension blocks front and rear um you know i haven't had time to get out and run them and test them you know just because of the because of the weather has been so crappy but um i mean they look killer on here and then the i mean the you know the suspension works really nice with the with the del run inserts so i mean it's just top quality work um you know, like I said, you can use the uh, RPM bumper. I mean, this is the Typhon T-Bone bumper. There's no need for the little mini bumper that goes in here because your blocks are, are locked in, your pins are locked in. So, you know, the uh, Typhon uh, T-Bone works perfect on these. And if you have like a regular size, uh, uh, like a regular T-Bone bumper on an Alcaster crate, and you can just leave off the little block that holds in the pins because you don't, because you're not going to need those. But anyway, I'm going to quit babbling about that. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go straight to the the uh, Mojave Fight here. Um, again, I got the buggy tires on it now. Um, this this old body this old blue body is about trashed i mean it's it's all kind of pieced together and i've got it you know leg sand i got screws holding it together and stuff so i'm just gonna let her ride as, as, as far as as far as it'll go um but on here uh as far as the mojave um it does have the mojave arms a mojave, a mojave drive shafts on uh, all four corners um and it does have the creighton hubs axles and hexes just like a regular truckified typhon would have um, I'm not sure if you can see it in here, you know, the, the length difference in the arms. <clears throat> They're probably, you know, not quite an inch longer, but, you know, but they are a little bit longer than a, uh, you know, standard Typhon arm, but just a little bit shorter than like an Alcaster Creighton. So it gives it the perfect stance, you know, even with buggy tires, it gives it, you know, you know, about a, about an inch wider stance. All right, here's a comparison of like the three arms. Uh, this is a, this is a Typhon arm. This is the Mojave uh, front arm. And like an outcast crate in front arm so you can see the difference you know the mojave is uh somewhere in the middle um you know it's probably you know a half inch or so uh, uh you know longer than the than a typhon arm so it's probably about an inch wider stance altogether um again it's just it's just like a perfect uh you know the perfect width so that just kind of gives you an idea as far as how the arms go you know you know not to mention these mojave arms are, are super beefy thick <laughs> you know compared to like a standard you know 6s uh, typhon arm particular uh, truck here uh, you know, it's got M2C chassis, M2C braces. I got hot racing uh, cases in the front and rear. Got Sentence success uh, towers uh, front and rear, uh, so I could use these body mounts to you know mount the truck body with ease. I mean, these are really nice mounts and they're they're pretty sturdy. Um, it it, uh, it does have outcast crate and diffs in it. Uh, you know, front, middle, and rear. I'm earning uh, uh, twenty thousand in the. Uh, I'm sorry, sixty thousand in the front, five hundred thousand in the center, and twenty thousand in the rear as far as diff oils. And this thing is just a complete animal, um, and it's and it's super tough. It does have stock electronics in it with eight with an 18 tooth pinion, um, stock servo. Uh, I just uh, you know needed to throw one in it, so I just pulled one out of the uh, out of the Benz box, 
and so far it's holding up you know once you, you know if you set your endpoints they'll they'll last a lot longer um, and, and uh, this one does have the uh, the locking m2c blocks it's a prototype it's one of the, one of the first ones that he sent out probably a couple of months ago and uh, and, and they, you know they, they've they've been holding up perfect I mean no no issues whatsoever it does have a uh, type and shocks on it um, and on the front right here I'm actually using outcast uh, 6s front springs and I just ran the collars up you know just so I can get that good rebound uh, because you know the stock type and sh uh, springs end up you know getting weak over over a period of time so and I think that works out good but uh, one of the one of the most important things is the chassis or the Mojave chassis has a uh, has a uh, shorter ears right here um, and the way these Mojave arms are made if you don't trim some of this out on this outcast typhon chassis it'll end up hitting the arm right here and you won't get the uh, down travel on your arm and your arm will end up locking you know locking down about right there and you won't have any kind of down travel whatsoever you know which will kind of mess up your uh, handling especially in bumpy terrain so i just had to dremel out on these ears a little bit just take a little bit off but make sure not to go too far where you you know you kill where, where your droop screw sits so you know right before that and that way you can al allow your arms to fall where they need to and um and then that uh, definitely uh, works out pretty good. So, all right, guys, I just wanted to give a quick rundown. And then again, I mean, the Typhon is a complete animal and it's just uh, very versatile. And you can, I mean, as far as the truckified setup, Mojaveified setup, um, it's just a very, you know, very fun truck to, to just make whatever, uh, you know, you want to out of it. So, all right, guys, enjoy the video. Oh, man, right on that stump. Oh, that was rough. Oh, that was close. Oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 